Thanks for watching this video. I am Sijesh. This video I will walk you through some of the basic Python scripts that is used for managing Cloudera Manager. So the Cloudera Manager provides some of the API services and Cloudera provides basic Python modules that we can use for starting, stopping or managing Cloudera by using Python scripts. So we will go through this ex exercise. So I have a cluster with the name training, so which is basically a single node uh, HTTP cluster and which is having the version uh, 5.150. And you can use uh, this Python script from anywhere, so which you should be able to access this Cloudera Manager URL. So first go to the host where you are planning to do uh, the scripting and in you need as a prerequisite you need to install certain uh, modules in the python so first make sure if you are using uh, centos or red hat flower linux so epel repositories are there in place then epel is there then you need basically python pip so first we will try this one because Sometimes you need not to do the EPL installation without that also the pip installation will work So first as a first thing you need to check this whether the pip is there in place command not found So you have to install pip. So just try this command Yum install pip So it's uh, sorry. I need to check to sudo user and uh, yum install so it's saying no package available so that's why we don't have a repository so that is the reason we are using this epl release package installation so epl release basically add this repo and extra packages then after that you can install python pip So once the installation is done so you have to you have a pip command just execute pip yes the command is there then you have to install this uh, cloudera manager api modules and the config parser so these two modules are needed for our coding so just do the installation pip install config parser just do that and uh, the next is uh, pip install cm api copy that and execute and go back to the user where you are doing the script so this is the script which i have written uh, and uh, i have one config file so which basically i will edit based on my cluster name and the credentials so first we will open this config ini file and uh, so which contain uh, the set of variables and its values defined so under cm section and this is a standard way of doing the coding and uh, you we do the configurations in a file and from the coding side we will do it in a standard way and cm host so this is the host where my cloudera manager is running so you need to get the server name or host name or you can use the IP address also and uh, this is the user credential I mean so the one we use for logging to this Cloudera manager and its password and uh, the cluster name so here the cluster name is training so if you have some other cluster you can write that you have to edit this file and replace so I will be uploading uh, this config file format and Python script in the github so you can download from there and try and the next is uh, the python so basically we are using config parser so which is mainly used for reading and processing that parameter file we have defined so you can directly hard code that credential in the code itself but if you want to change frequently it's always better to change it in the config file so i used uh, this config file separately 
and uh, so that is the one module which we are using and the second is from cm api cm api is the module given by cloudera manager or cloudera team and that we used and we have installed here so you have to install the cm api modules and api resource and uh, so these two things i am importing and reading the config file okay and getting the credentials like host name so what is the host name from that file cm.host cm is the separation which i use if you have some other parameters to define so you you have you have you can do that like under cm section so i have set of variables defined and uh, so i'm getting all the details like uh, the cluster name the uh, credentials and uh, host name etc and under the main part so here what i'm doing is so api resource and then cloudera manager host version username and password so it will uh, create a connectivity with the cloudera manager host by using this credential and uh, it will get uh, an object and when we pass this cluster because with the same cloudera manager we may have multiple clusters registered so you'll have to pass the cluster name here to this function then you will get an object like this and for this object you can stop you can start or you can do restart and the wait means it will wait till this operation finish so that's all about the coding part so the cloudera has uploaded uh, the same code in their github repository i have taken from there and just modified so now we will uh, make a try here so this is the cluster and all are healthy state just to do restart okay so connected to cm host and about to stop done stopping so i don't know if it's uh, done or yeah so it's a uh, stopped the services hdfs and yarn and uh, uh, so i can modify this one okay so restart and i am just uh, i think uh, this is not the restart so this is basically doing a stop okay and uh, I'm copying this file restart and then stop underscore cloudera dot py and uh, start I just copied this file and start means you have to only thing you have to do here is just change this restart to start save it and for stopping we should have the stop okay save it so, so the same script I have modified and uh, uh, written the three, but only the difference you can see here is like so start and the stop and the restart. So these keywords you can use. So for example, if I want to start this, okay. So now the service is stopped. So you can run this script. Okay. So this is starting. You can see the starting is in progress. And uh, so this will start the other service also you can see the running command details here and what is the status everything you will get from here so it takes some time to start the service normally uh, depends on the number of services available in your cluster so this way uh, by using cloudera manager api modules you can interact with the cluster so this is the one of the options available and there are a lot of 
other features available so you can do the installation configuration then troubleshooting or uh, getting the logs all those things you can do with the cloudera manager api modules so you can see the services are almost started yeah it's done now this is done so i will be uploading these scripts so please try it in your own environment and uh, please let me know if you are facing any challenges so i hope you like the content and if you have any questions so feel free to comment also if you have not subscribed to my channel so please do so i will be uploading more contents over time thank you bye